It's been exactly one year today since the Jonesboro community lost a beloved firefighter by the name of Luke Story. Luke lost his battle with pancreatic cancer last year, but throughout his illness, he inspired people from across the region. Earlier today, News Channel 11's Jordan Moore had the chance to speak with Luke's brother about how family and friends are working to keep his memory and legacy alive. Everywhere you look here at the fire hall in Jonesboro, there are reminders of a fallen brother, Luke Story. His name on the side of this fire engine. Photos of him line the wall upstairs. Luke was always willing more times than not to help someone else versus himself. Luke would give you the shirt off his back and not think twice about it. But it's this photo that Luke's brother Jeff holds closest to him. And he said, we've got to get the nachos and cheese and chili and, and jalapenos. I actually had my wife take the picture of us together and that's one of the one of the last pictures that I got to, to have with him. And one year later, Jeff Story says there are still days when it's difficult to cope with the loss. A day that was especially hard came in November on Luke's birthday as they released balloons in honor of his memory. It was a difficult thing to do, um, but we wanted to honor him um, and uh, just let him know that we're still thinking of him. But even through the painful moments, there have been reminders of just how many people Luke touched in the community. Jeff specifically recalled Luke's involvement with the Prom Promise event at local high schools. The people that he touched there, I mean, the kids still today will stop by the station just to say hi, to say that, you know, they miss Luke or they're thinking about him. And as Jeff continues to take it day by day, he takes comfort knowing his brother is watching over him. I would say that he would probably say, keep doing what you're doing and don't quit. Don't back off. Jordan Moore, News Channel 11, in your corner. Now, Jeff Story says they plan to continue to raise money for the Luke Story Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer, a foundation they started before Luke passed away. A local volunteer fire department is rallying around one of their own tonight after he was diagnosed with a form of brain cancer. Mike Morell, known to many in the Sullivan County community as Mo, started falling ill shortly before Thanksgiving. He has been the assistant fire chief at the Vo Vaca Volunteer Fire Department for almost 24 years. As Morell continues to undergo treatment and test at Vanderbilt, his fellow firefighters are hoping for the best. I have a trouble now going over and sitting and talking to Mo at his house because I can't stand to see a friend like this. I'd rather it be me than him. And Chief of the Avoca Volunteer Fire Department, David Taylor, said they made these stickers you see here with Morell's number 42 on them as a reminder to keep their heads up as he works to fight this disease. Two of our members yesterday, they went and shoveled his driveway. We, we're in constant contact with them. Is there anything you can do? Is there anything that you need? Keep the prayers going up. Keep Mike thinking positive, and he's had a tremendously great outlook through this whole thing. We talk to him daily. The firefighters at Avoca are working to raise money to help with Morell's medical bills. You can find that link on our website, WJHL.com.